Hello again everyone, it's Joshua Rains from Possum's Paracord and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to tie the static cloud. Now before I get any further, first of all I want to say thank you to the original creator Robert Spangler. I will also have a link in the description to the original tutorial for this bracelet. But thank you Mr. Spangler for your permission to make this tutorial. So this sign is the main side of the bracelet. It's a static cloud. Now what I normally do is I actually put this on a flat buckle because the back side, which I've heard referred to by the spinal tap, uh, is excellent side also. So if you use a flat buckle, you get the best of both worlds. Let's begin. I have 10 feet of white six feet of red and a five eighths inch curved buckle. We're going to start with the white. The white's going to be the main color. We're going to start with the female side and go down through the top. And do a cow stitch. And don't pull that tight. Take this one here. Find your end. You're going to go down between. Out the back. And you're going to come down. Through that loop. Through the cow stitch. Now, get your other end. Go down. Out the back. Down. Through that loop. Just gonna rock it. What that's doing is just tightening it up. And that's what you'll have right there. I'm gonna work on this right here. There we go. Okay. Now. go down through the top on the male side so go ahead and open that up and here's where you're going to take your measurement this pattern um, you need to add inch and a half to your wrist size so I'm going to be making this to a nine and now that I have my measurement I'm going to move forward take this one come up through the middle come up from behind and down through the loop just warming a cow's edge. Same on the other side. Up through the middle. Come up from behind. Down through the loop. Okay. 
I'm gonna leave those loose for just a second. I'm gonna take that red lace and needle, flip it over. I'm just gonna run this straight through. And out the other side. And I'm just going to make sure that's nice and even. Okay. Now, tighten this all up and uh, recheck your measurement. Make sure everything's good. Now that I've checked my rechecked my measurement, made sure the red's good and even. We're just going to go straight into the pattern here. What you want to do, take the red, gonna form a bite, so to speak, like that. Take your white over the top, going to go around, behind it, over the two center strands, behind those two center strands, and then you're just going to come up through that loop. Just like that. This is probably the hardest part of the, the whole entire pattern here is the tightening. So, what you do is you're going to pull this up, slide this up, and work it. Keep pulling that up. Basically this one pulls up, this one pulls down, and I use my finger to push that loop. And then you want to just keep, sometimes I'll even hold that loop there, pull, pull, pull. And there's your first one. It's okay that it's not super tight yet. I don't want to pull the red through. From doing this too tight but either way it runs the red runs parallel to itself basically move to the other side form the bite take the white over the top of the two red around behind over the two center strands round behind up through the loop now you just kind of slowly work it pulling this one kind of this way pulling this one this way like I said you can use this hand to hold this loop pull that Now's where you can really tighten it. Push down on this loop here, which pushes the slack that comes out here. You pull up and then pull this one downward. There's the start. Let's see. This one needs a little more attention. And then you move back to the other side, form your loop, round behind, over the two centers round behind and up through the loop once again pulling this one downward this one up beside itself pushing up here 
it's a lot of work on this pattern. It forms itself, but you have to make it form at the same time, if that makes any sense, because you can see it's just as thin as can be. Go back to the other side, form the bite, over it, around behind it, over the two center strands, around behind them, up through that loop. And then you're just going to work it. And yes, this is difficult to do on camera. Because normally I'm all over the place trying to tighten this thing up. Alright, start again on this side. Form the bite. <clears throat> over the top. Around behind. Over your two center strands. Around behind your two center strands. Up through that loop. So there's the start of the pattern. I'll tell you what I'll do. One more on this side, just to even it out. Form your loop, the bite, whatever you want to call it. White goes over, around behind, over your two centers, around behind, up through the loop. And yes, if you make these loops much smaller as you go, it's a lot easier tightening. But of course, for demonstration purposes, to give you an idea, and I have to show it. Okay. There you have it. Now, of course, I have probably everyone's favorite side of the pattern is actually the back side, as it resembles a spinal cord, which is why I believe I've heard it referred to as a spinal tap. Uh, I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm going to show you how I finish it. Be right back. Now I've took the pattern as far as it will go. So, as you can see, all the way up to there. Now to finish it, these reds, I just cut and melt right there. Now for the white, what I like to do is take a lacing needle, go right in the center there, come out the center on the other side. I'm just going to take okay. coming right beside it on the other side it's going to be a little tighter this time because you already got one in there And then you just cut and melt those right on that side. And see when you do that, almost kind of makes it look a little like the other side. But there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. P.S. Are you looking for a good source to get the materials you need to make your very own static cloud? Well, I have two. Alexandersoutdoors.com and StockstillOutdoorsSupply.com. Those are my two main providers for all my Paragord materials. Thank you.